This is a nano challenge, and this is nano. A nano is one billionth. That's 10 to the minus nine. Nine zeros. A nano is a small number, so this is a short challenge. In this nano challenge, I'll introduce Scratch's sound editor that can be used to change sound clips. This is a nano challenge, so I'll delete the cat. Delete. I'll add the nano sprite, new sprite, fantasy. I'll double click on nano. I'll need a sound clip to edit. Sounds. New sound from the library. I'll double click on Alien Creek 1 and I'll play the sound. I can copy that Alien Creek. Click down, release, edit copy. I'll close the highlight curtain and paste at the end. Edit, paste. I have two copies, I can play them both. Play. You have two clicks. I can stop a clip that's playing. Play. And it stopped. I can get another sound clip, Alien Creek 2. I'll play it. That's a different one. I can select all of this clip, select all, copy, and I can paste it into the first one. I'll put it here. Edit, paste. I can use the scroll bar to look at all of the clip. I can select the beginning of the clip, play it. It has the other clip in the middle of it. I can reverse part of the clip. Highlight, Effects, Reverse. Now it'll play backwards. I'll select the beginning of the clip and play it. I can undo the last change, the reversing. I'll undo it. I restored the reverse part to its normal sound. I can redo the last undo and get the reverse back. Redo. The middle part's reversed again. I can delete part of the clip, highlight, delete, I'll play the clip, that middle section's gone. I can undo the delete, now I have the three clips. I can fade the beginning of the clip so the clip doesn't start so abruptly, fade in, fade in can be used in the middle of a clip too, effects, fade in, the volume was reduced much more at the beginning of the fade in clips than at the end. I can fade the end of the clip so it doesn't end so abruptly. Effects, fade out. Fade out can be used inside a clip too. Effects, fade out. I'll play the clip now. Select the beginning, play. Now it's fading in and out all right. I can hear all the fades. I can lower the volume of part or all of the clip. Edit, select all. Go to effects. Soften. Play it. It is quieter now. I can undo making it quieter, and I can make all or part of it louder. I'll make the middle part louder. Play it. That middle part's louder. I can silence part of the clip. Select. Silence. And play it. It was quiet in the middle. I can delete all or part of the clip. Edit, delete. I can play all of the clip too. I'm finished with this nano challenge showing you how to use the basics of Scratch's sound editor. I encourage you to play with the sound editor and get comfortable using it. If you have a microphone, you can try the record button to add your own sounds into the clip, create your own sound clips, or upload sound files into your program. But above all, have fun with the challenge.